good morning students this is 11th standard botany video class video 6 in this video we are going to continue the lesson angiospermic families dear students last video class we have seen general characteristic features of euphorbiaceae botanical description of resinous communis under the floral diagram and floral formula now we are going to see economic importance of ephorbiac family and general characteristic features of family musaceae and also economic importance of family musaceae in this video Dear students, see the topic Economic Importance of the Family before BCA. First one, food plant. Embrica officinalis in English, gooseberry in Tamil, Nellika. Philanthus acidus in Tamil, it is known as Ari Nellika. Maniha tesculenta that is Maravalli Kerangu or tapioca. Useful part is Nellika fruit, Maravalikarangi tuberous roots. The uses of Nellika is rich in vitamin C, which is used for edible, that is eatable, and also we can able to prepare the pickle, that is pickled. Then Maravalikarangi tuberous roots. Roots are rich in starch. And used to prepare for bread, biscuits, chips and foodstuff. Next one, Sauropus androgynous. Useful part is leaves. Uses. is a green vegetable, multivitamin plant. Next one, oil plant. First one, Croton oil, Croton tiglium. Useful part is seed. It is a powerful purgative. And also treat to skin diseases. Purgative means it is mixed with other medicine. It is used as an purgative. And treat skin diseases. Next one, castor oil. Amanakena. That is resinous communis. In Tamil, Vilakenna. Useful part is seeds. Used as a vegetable oil in olden days. Resinolic acid is present in the oil. Eliminate acne causing bacteria. Apart from that, it acts as a laxative and a lubricant. Then Jatropa oil from Jatropa Kurkas, Katamanak Chedi. Seeds used for biofuels. Then rubber, Hevia brasiliensis, Espara rubber. Useful part is a milky latex. We already seen a rubber tree in the previous video class. The Hevia brasiliensis known as para rubber. One more question. The coagulated latex is used in the rubber products like tube and tire. Another rubber is Maniot Glaciov, Maniot or Manicoba rubber. Both of them used in the prepare for rubber products, tube and tires. Then medicinal plants, Euphorbia resinifera, it is a latex. Euphorbium drug is obtained from the latex and used as an Forgative. Then Euphorbia hirta in Tamil it is known as Amman Pacharasi, the entire plant. It is used as a lactococcus. Then Malotus plipaninesis, a fruit used as an 
Anthelmintic, Philanthus Amaras, Kiranelli, Yente Shoot System, Used to Cure Jaundice. So, this are all the different medicinal plant and their uses. Rubber plant, oil plant, and food plant for family if for BACA. The another medicinal plant, Jetropha gospipolia, useful part is leaves and a root. It's used for treatment of leprosy, that is Tholunoi, and also snake bite. Pambukadicha, we can able to use to treat it, leaves and root of Jatropa gasifipolia. Croton tignilium, in Tamil it is known as nervalum, the seed used as an purgative. Resinous communis, seed oil, purgative. Then some of the plants which are yielding the dye, so economic importance of dye yielding plants in UFOBCA. First dye, Camilla dye, Malotus plipanensis, Fruits used for dyeing wool and silk, blue dye, jatropa curcas, bark of a plant, chediyoda patta, used for dyeing clothes and fishing net, purple dye, chorosopora tinctoria, bark, used in textile industry, red dye, philanthus reticulatus, roots, used for tanning and dyeing. Fishing lines and nets. Then finally, timber plant, Aparosa dioca, timber plant that is cut, marakata, used for packing cases, tea boxes, weenies, plywood, match industry, and several other similar purpose. Another one, Bichofia javanica, Roma vircham in Tamil. Dry Peters, Roxburghi, Viri Maram, everything used as a furniture product. Then ornamental plants, Akalipa, Silieta, Akalipa Espida, Codium Vericatum, Croton Tiglium, Ephobia Anticorum, Ephobia Pulcherima, Ephobia Splendens, Ephobia Thirikalli, Jatropha Gosmipolia, so, all these plants used as an ornamental plants that is So, this is said to be the economic importance of family before BSEA. Dear students, see the diagram. This is the Euphobia species. So, this is petaloid sepal. Most probably sepals are green in color, that is calyx, but here the sepals are colored in nature. So this is known as sepaloid sepal. So this is known as Euphobia pulcherima, palperiki tree. Another one, croton tiglium, that is croton plant, which is used as an ornamental plant. Dear students, up to this we have seen dicot family under their botanical description of your plants. Now we are going to see monocot family, family Musaceae. So this family otherwise known as banana family. That means we all know that one plant entry, Walamaram, which belongs to the family Musaceae and also it is a monocot family. Systematic position is the important three mark question. According to APG, Kingdom Plantae, Clad Angiosperm, Clad Monocot, Clad Comelins, Order Gingiberales, Family Musaceae. Then Benamoker classification, Kingdom Plantae, Class Monocotyledonae, Subclass Gingiberidae, Series Epigynae, Order Gingiberales, family Musaceae. So this is the different family members of monocot Musaceae, Sterculaceae, sorry, Strelisiae, Loaceae, Heliconiaceae, Costaceae, 
ஜிஞ்சிபெரேசிய கெனேசிய மரந்தேசிய ஸோ அவுட் ஆஃப் திஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஃபேமிலி வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி த ஃபேமிலி மியூசேசிய ஸோ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டாபிக் ஜென்ரல் கேரக்டர்ஸ் மியூசேசி ஃபேமிலி கண்டைன்ஸ் டூ ஜெனிரா ஒன் இஸ் மியூசா அண்ட் என்சிட்டே இஸ் த இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் டூ மார்க் கொஸ்டின் அண்ட் எயிட்டி ஒன் ஸ்பேஷியஸ் ஸோ திஸ் மெம்பர் ஆஃப் ஃபேமிலி விச் இஸ் ப்ரெசன்ட் இன் த ட்ராபிக்கல் லோலேண்ட்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் வெஸ்ட் ஆஃப்ரிக்கா டு பசிபிக் தட் இஸ் சதன் ஜப்பான் டு குயின்ஸ்லேண்ட் மியூசா இஸ் த மோஸ்ட் காமன் பிளான்ட் ஆஃப் த ஃபேமிலி ஃபவுண்ட் இன் இந்தியா மியூசா தட் இஸ் பிளான்ட் அண்ட் ட்ரீ வாழமரம் ஹேபிட் இட் இஸ் ஏ லார்ஜ் பெரினியல் ஹர்ப் லார்ஜ் இட்ஸ் லுக் லைக் வெரி பிக் சைஸ் பெரினியல் த லைஃப் சைக்கிள் இஸ் மோர் தென் டூ இயர்ஸ் ஹர்ப் பிளான்ட் இட் இஸ் நாட் ஏ இட்ஸ் லுக் லைக் ஏ ட்ரீ பட் இட் இஸ் நாட் ஏ ட்ரீ இட் இஸ் ஏ ஹர்ப் பிளான்ட் பெரினேட்டிங் தட் மீன்ஸ் ரீப்ரொடியூஸ்ட் பை மீன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஸ்டெம் விச் இஸ் ப்ரெசன்ட் below the soil or buried under the soil is known as rhizome that is musa paradisiaca rarely they are showing the trees that is ravenella madagascarian trees is a important one more question the example of trees in family musaceae is ravenella madagascariensis root it is a monocot family fibrous adventitious root system stem in musa the real stem is which is buried under the soil is known as rhizomes or rhizome what is rhizome is the important two more question a real stem which is found below the soil or underground soil is called rhizomatous or rhizome so this rhizome are a underground stem which is divided into two that is dichotomously branching in at least some of the species but we are going to see the aerial stem like portion it is not a stem it is a apparent that is individual aerial above the ground level erect straight there is no branches and branched tall pseudo stem pseudo means false stem a stem like portion which is present above the ground level but is not a real stem real stem is buried under the soil called a rhizome so the apparent aerial erect and branched tall pseudo stem is formed by a long that is stiff and sheathy leaf bases which are rolled around one above another to form a aerial pseudo stem so what are pseudo stem or what is pseudo stem is the important three mark question or the last the question how are the aerial pseudo stems are formed in family musaceae that means it's not a real stem the apparent erect unbranched tall pseudo stem is formed by a sheathy leaf bases that means at the base of a leaf which are having the bulged pulvinous which are forming one above around one above another which are forming the aerial pseudo stem dear students how are aerial pseudo stems are formed the answer is start from the apparent aerial erect end with a form an aerial pseudo stem at the center of this aerial pseudo stem is concealed at the bottom of the pseudo stem is called shaft shaft means vaada thandu appdin solrom liya patta pattaya uriki uriki varum center la a cylindrical portion that is said to be a central axis that is concealed at the bottom of the pseudo stem is called shaft that means vaada thandu which elongates elongates means it will be lengthier in size and pierces through pierces through means it will be comes out of the pseudo stem at the time of flowering 
and produce the inflorescence externally or terminally. That means, that means it will be enlarged portion of a shaft at the time of flowering and produce the inflorescence terminally that means at the tip then musa is said to be the monocarpic stem is aerial and woody in ravanella madagascariensis so this is the Difference between Musa and Ravanella is an important 5 mark question. Differentiate between Musa and Ravanella. First differentiation is Musa is a perennial herb and Ravanella is a tree. Then second one Musa is a monocarpic stem but Ravanella is a woody stem. Coming to the leaf it's very simple, long and a strong petiole. The leaf blade is large, large means broad. That's why we are used as a plate at the time of festival. Why it should be used as a plate during festival time? Because the leaf blade is large and broad with a sheathy leaf base. Stipules are absent, extipulate. The shape of the leaf is oval, obtuse or oblong with the stout midrib. Entire, numerous parallel veins are extending up to the margin. This is a monocot family. So venation is the parallel venation. Philotaxi is spiral in Musa and Dystichus in Ravanella. See the another differentiate between Musa, the Philotaxi is spiral. In Ravanella, it is dystichus. That means leaves are arranged alternative in two opposite vertical rows in Ravanella. So, I already told you different between Ravanella and Musa. First one, pseudostem tree. Second one, Musa is the monocarpic stem. Ravanella is a woody stem. The next differentiate between is Philotaxi spiral in Musa and Dystichus in Ravanella. What is Dystichus? That means leaves are arranged in alternative with alternative Philotaxi in two optical, sorry, two opposite vertical rows in Ravanella is called Dystichus. Next one, inflorescence is another important differentiate between terminal or axillary thrists of one of one to many monochial branched spadix in Musa. So the inflorescence of Musa is, what is that one? Branched spadix, but in Ravanella it is compound syme. So another important differentiate between in Musa, it is branched spadix. In Ravanella, it is compound sign. Then, another important two mark question what is spath? Spath means brown color, board shape, which are arranged in the spiral manner. That is said to be spath. Usually, the flowers are protected by large, brightly colored, spirally arranged. Boat shaped bract called spathe. And the water poured on the manner and the brown color shape. It looks like a boat shape. It is arranged in spiral manner, brightly colored, protected the flask. That is said to be spathe. Is the important two more question. Next, floss. Bract is present, bracteate. Bracteole absent, e bracteolate. Sessile, that means flowers are not having any stalk like portion. So, sessile. Petals are three in number, trimerous. It may be unisexual or bisexual or polygamous. That means male flower is separately, look, male plant separately present, female plant is separately present, 
or both the sex organs are present in the same one that is bisexual sometimes polygamous that means unisexual bisexual flowers are present in the same plant is called polygamous so this condition is called monoecious flowers are zygomorphic we can able to divide at only one median plane with equal parts and epigynous the ovary which is at the base so inferior ovary epigynous flower what are polygamous flower give example is the very very important 3 mark and 2 mark question in musa flowers are polygamous that is staminate flower pistillate flower and bisexual flowers are present in the same plant is known as polygamous flower male flower um irukum female flower um thaniya irukum both bisexual flower what is that one male flower female ore pool irukku liya so that is said to be polygamous staminate means male flower pistillate means female flower and bisexual means in individual flower there contains both the sex organs that type of flower is known as polygamous flower which is seen in the musa next one perianth that is calyx and corolla is absent modified into another form called perianth individual is tepal six tepals are present arranged in two rows that is said to be biseriate 3 plus 3 arranged in two whorls of 3 each and homochlamydias so homochlamydias means calyx and corolla are absent that is said to be homochlamydias then the tepals are fused arranged in two whorls each whorl 3 that is said to be syn tepalus in most of the species of musa the tepals outer wall 3 and the two lateral inner wall of a tepal is fused with the outer 3 tepal outer 3 inner 2 which is present in the lateral side fused together to form a five toothed tube like structure is called abaxial lip is very important very very important two mark question what is abaxial tip lip in most of the answer is the most of the species of musa the outer three tepal and inner two lateral tepal pakka vatla irukku lateral tepal side la lateral two tepals are fused together to form a five toothed tube like structure is called abaxial lip so out of six five are joined together only one is free which is located in the posterior side which is broad alla perusa irukum membranous narambu mari irukum cut pannave mudiyad membranous called labellum so what is labellum is another important two mark question the posterior inner median tepal of is alone free distinctly broad membranous is called labellum so that is the perianth next one andrisium this another important differentiate between between ranma sorry musa and ravanella stamens are five in musa and six in ravanella so both of them are arranged in two whorls each one which is located opposite to the tepals see the differentiate between in musa out of 5 sorry totally it is 6 only but out of 6 five stamens are fertile fertile means they took part in the reproductive function remaining one which is present in the posterior side act as a staminode or it is absent so that is the differentiate between musa and ravanella both of them i told wrongly 5 plus 6 5 and 
both of them having six stamens in musa out of six five is fertile and one is staminode are absent in the posterior side but in ramanalla all the six stamens are fertile the filaments are free and these are linear linear na ambu shape la irukum dithicus two lobes they is by longitudinal slit that means in between the median part and with sticky pollens that means the pollen grains are which are stick to the other surface then gynaecium three carpels is there tricarpellary carpels are united syncarpus based upon the number of carpels three locule is there trilocular epigynous flower so ovary is inferior many ovule which is present on axial placentation style is filiform hair like outgrowth stigma three lobed septal nectaries are present that means honey like substance are secreted at the tip of the stigma then fruit it's elongated tesh berry containing numerous seeds fruits are forming in their compact compact bunches seeds with copious and small embryo in musa capsule in ravanella see that is another differentiate between musa and ravanella musa it is a berry in ravanella it is capsule seed larges starch rich endosperm is present that is at be incite in the seed so this is the general characteristic features of family musaceae dear students i hope have you all understood the general characteristic features of family musaceae remaining we will see in the next video class god bless you all the best children